as uh, Mr. Paterno already mentioned, uh, so much of our early American music uh, was folk music. Folk music being music not necessarily written down or necessarily composed. Uh, you know, things that were created on the spot, they were improvised, uh, passed on by tradition and word of mouth. Uh, so many people also regard as Mr. Paterno stole by thunder, as he seems to do so many times lately here. Uh, uh, we, we think Yankee Doodle as being an American uh, folk song, but it's actually uh, something that had its roots uh, back with the British, and it was parodying uh, America. Uh, one of America's first composed songs was Chester uh, by one of America's first composers, uh, I don't want to screw the name, Will, William Billings. Um, it was originally written as a hymn, it was a book of hymns. The book of hymns was published very early on during the American Revolution, and it was so popular that the troops sang it um, as they were going up and down all the way over through the 13 colonies that are now on the East Coast. Um, it is a beautiful piece of music. A lot of people think it is a folk piece because as it continued past the revolution, it continued to be sung by armies as a marching tune. Uh, it continued to have that pass me down tra uh, uh, tradition. And it wasn't until uh, really a lot of musicians were familiar with the piece in the 1950s when wind music really started to take off that uh, William Schumann put a setting up together for the wind band in what was considered at that time to be a modern type of setting. So it's going to start as a traditional hymn, and it's really going to test the uh, technical aspects of the band. So I think you'll enjoy Chester. <laughs> 